Hi, welcome to this look at creating a countdown tension style cue. You do not have to be a musical genius to come up with this sort of music, which gets used in TV and film all over the place. So I will give you some pointers, little tips and tricks, things to think about. If you want to create your own cue like this, let's hear this one so that you have it in your head while I go through it. And there you have it, a countdown tension style cue. Uh, what makes it countdown? Um, the end, so this ending phrase, think game show. In terms of structure, I hope you can see that fairly clearly there, that there is a a section, a B section, and then a return to an A section with more stuff building in. That's a, a classic way to build a track. It's only just over a minute and 30. Most of the work is done by the percussion because that's what you want for a sort of tension countdown. You need some sort of ticking momentum. Think ticking clock going through and we add in some reverse symbols and some uh, soft symbol splashes to add some interest as we go through the track there's some synthesizers going on there is a bass synth and some brass and then some strings so most of it is low strings until we get to the last section where we start building in some uh, octaves and then bring in a violin leader from BBC SO to add a bit more bite and it brings the sound out towards the end. Um, so, like I said, you do not need to be a musical genius to write this style of music. You can see here, if we look at that entire section, it is literally B, uh, a D and a C sharp. Now, I will say, even though you don't have to be a musical genius, it is useful to think about what makes something tension track. So, those chromatic movements will want to resolve back to where they just were. So dropping down, or you can do it the other way, you can go up. Or 
go up and down. So keeping chromatic movements is a great tip there. In terms of these synths here, literally it uh, is doing, and this is another little trick you can do, is play open fifths. So do not include the third of the chord you are playing so that it doesn't guide people to think of it as a major or a minor. You leave it open to interpretation. So here we've got uh, a D and an A. And then later on, we go up to an F and a C. And then, so you're playing an open D and then an F and then back to the D and the F. And then uh, towards the end, we go up to a G here and that is offset from the F sharp that the other instruments go to. So again, it's a chromatic difference. Um, in terms of uh, this sound, it's got those little pan drums in the background for a bit of rhythm as well. But again, it's going between the D and the F there. And towards the end, we go to the E and then the F sharp. Um, the bass literally follows along what the strings were doing in the first half. So they take over from what the strings were doing and it also introduces that new element because uh, to start with we've got uh, let's solo that for you we've got that and then it comes in a lot more subtly but carries on through the rest of the track so we've introduced the idea of a synth bass in the B section and we carry on with a synth bass into the end. The percussion is a mix of high, mids and low from Damage, which I've used here. So we've got this those two sounds. Um, in the mids, uh, not that one. So that has got a nice uh, bit of spatial movement to it. And in the lows, which one is it? some symbols going on here sorry reverses and there are symbols but they're quite subtle uh, there's nothing massively loud going on with the symbols slightly louder one towards the end jump to that And that's just for the uh, ending. Uh, we've got a couple of wishes.
but because that's halfway through we don't need it to be so exacting and stop dead at the end that is literally all there is to this style of cue so if i were you i would lay down a simple low cello string line that's quite rhythmic um, we've got these brass hairpins as well oh actually i didn't go over those did i but this is literally just all they do is swell in and swell out so if you've got uh, an instrument that will do that for you brilliant otherwise what you want to do is get a brass sound and then automate the volume coming in and going out you can change the uh, expression so that it sounds as if the player is blowing harder in the middle of the note all that much better but you could fake it with uh, volume automation as well there you go go and make yourself a countdown tension cue um, they are quite good fun and to be fair you can knock them out fairly quickly have you remembered to like and subscribe that is always appreciated and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye for now